Hi guys! In today's video, we are going to show you guys our awesome cornbread recipe. Zare yemen asaya chu betam betam yemi tafet corn da bono. This recipe is super easy and so so delicious. But I'm not afraid now. But I'm not afraid. So let's get started. I want to learn. Need is you're going to need one tablespoon of salt. Um, you need you're going to need some walnuts. This is optional. You're going to need about a three fourths cup of sugar. You're going to need two eggs. A half tablespoon. A half tablespoon of baking powder. You are gonna need some corn, which is optional. You're also gonna need one cup of milk. You're gonna need a, a, about a, ha, um, a quarter cup of butter. You're gonna need a half, one and a half cups of flour and one and a half cups of fine ground yellow cornmeal. And you could use any type of flour. And also for the cornmeal, you have to use cornmeal because if you use corn flour, that's not going to end up well. It's just going to crumble in your hands. You're going to need a good corn. You're going to need a good cornbread, so just use cornmeal. There's no substitute for cornmeal. Okay, so what we're going to do first is we're going to put our corn into our food processor. Also, we're going to crack our eggs. Two awesome eggs. Our salt. <gasps> and we're also gonna need a, a, a cup of water. Milk. Milk. You're gonna need some sugar. Put it in. And our baking powder. Now what we have here is our corn, our two eggs, our bacon, our bacon powder, our milk, our sugar, and our salt. So what we're going to do is we're gonna make we're gonna blend it all. And also, you don't blend your butter, um, your um, cornmeal, or your flour, or your um, walnuts yet. Okay. Now we finished blending and it looks like this. You want it coarse, you don't want it that like fine. You want some chunks of uh, corn because you want to actually taste it. So let's put our cornmeal and our flour. And then we're just going to mix it together until it is blended together. And then I'm going to put this mixture. Okay, so now I'm just going to put it in the middle. And we're going to put our butter. And we're also going to put two tablespoons of walnuts. Because we want to save some for the topping. And then with the whisk, I'm going to mix it all together. So now we're mixing, and it's supposed to be looking like this. You don't want it too thick or too thin. You want it just, just right. right. So what we're going to do is going to set this aside, and we have about a tablespoon of butter right here, and we're going to season our cast iron skillet. Cast them warm in like about 350 degrees Fahrenheit for about five to 10 minutes. So we have this, and we're going to drop it. Our skillet w was warmed ahead, and now just put our butter, and it's melting. So, now what we did was we had our butter, and we spread it all over our pan. You guys can use oil, anything you would like. So what we're going to do is we're going to use a cloth, and we're going to, like, clean it up. And also, don't overdo your oil or butter, because it's not going to be great. <laughs> so, I'm just going to... And do it slowly because you don't want to get burned. It's not great either. What I'm doing is I'm just cleaning the excess oil because I don't want too much butter. So that's oil. As you can see, our skillet is ready and it looks like this. So now we're going to pour our batter. Hold. I'm excited to try. What I'm going to do is I'm 
going to spread it out so it's all even. And then it looks like this. It looks very, very, very nice. So now I'm going to sprinkle the remaining walnuts in the top. This is optional. You don't have to do it. You can put jalapenos, etc. And also, um, so like, we're going to bake this at 350 degrees for about 45 to minutes to an hour or until it's golden brown or until you insert a to toothpick in the middle and it comes out clean. See you then! So, now we finished baking our cornbread for about 350 degrees Fahrenheit for about 45 to 1 hour. And it looks like this. It looks very good and now we're going to serve. So we let it cool down for about 10 to 15 minutes so it's not that hot. And we're going to serve it on this plate and then we're going to taste. So we're just going to flip it, slide, and now I get burned. And now we're gonna cut it. It smells so good. And now let's see it. Wow, that is one good cornbread. Look at the texture, cause you don't want a, a cornbread like crumbling up. You want it like this, perfect cornbread recipe. And now I'm gonna taste.